When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, I totally did not intend to film a video today. I look like a mess. It's hair washing day. And I truthfully intended on cleaning this filming room a little bit, you guys, because I have probably filmed about 10 pieces of content in here since I last did some tidying. So there is just stuff everywhere. Uh, like this Pikachu. <laughs> Why did I say Pikachu? So weird. Pikachu uh, a balaclava. We've got it all in here. But I was just hit with a lightning bolt of desire to film because I was just shown like randomly on YouTube somebody unboxing these things that I honestly forgot existed. They are the Real Littles mini handbags. And you guys already know I've been on a quest to fill a mini teeny tiny purse like full of mini realistic items that you would find in a purse and I've been trying to like rack my brain thinking of where there are other miniatures besides like Rainbow High, Rement. What are the other ones that we just recently unboxed like trying to find stuff to stuff in a mini purse? Anyway, I forgot that these existed. They are real mini handbags and they have possibly, which, oh my god, I think I tried to get these a long time ago specifically to get the miniature water bottle, but I think that there's even many more. Oh yeah, 30 plus surprises to collect. So you guys, y'all probably already know this series. Today we're doing another 50 pounds of random mystery unboxings. I've got a huge tub. I'm trying to clean through it. I've got mystery box items from um, so many different years, so many different brands. I usually try and unbox five different things each episode. So today we've got some Sunny Angel. We've got, um, I usually don't do so many things of the same, like I don't, I don't usually do like multiple mini brands in one of these videos, but I found three of these Real Littles handbags and I kind of just want to open them all today because, you know, I'm not really like, I don't really care so much about the bag. I know that that's like kind of a silly thing to say, but I just wanna see all the minis that we can possibly grab up today for our collection. And then you guys, it's been so long since I've opened an LOL surprise doll. I found this one in the bucket today and I wanna do this one, but I know that the, these are seven layers, right? Yeah, seven layers and these are a little time consuming as well as these. So I figured even though I don't have like a large item today, I feel like we have a lot of small ones that take up a lot of time. You guys, I'm every day like having to delete an old video to film a new one. Sippy sippy. Also gigantic long Teletubby in the background. I'm trying to very cautiously sit right in front of these two babies today because you guys, the other day I filmed an entire video for this channel and it was a stationary video and I'm like, super nervous. I haven't checked the footage yet, but I feel like I noticed like right in the middle of talking, the camera was focusing on the babies the whole time. Sippy sippy. And let's start unboxing. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the Sunny Angel first because this is a Valentine's Day figurine. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this video, but I'm filming it a couple days before Valentine's Day. And y'all, I swear, I bought this so long ago and I think it even like moved houses with us. Like I'm pretty sure I had this in the old filming room, never unboxed it. And now here we are. <laughs> uh, but every year I'm like, oh, open it on Valentine's Day every year. I forget every time. So um, wouldn't it be wild if there was like a Robbie in here the whole time? That's Sunny Angel's little sidekick. It's like a weird dog deer creature. I don't, maybe he's meant to be a rabbit. I honestly don't know. Um, but I've always tried to get a Robbie out of a blind box and I never have before. But it would be a box with like two of them in it. And I feel like that would be, I don't know. I feel like that's like super, super, super rare. So yeah, I don't know, collector's charts. And maybe this is like not as old as I thought it was. I don't know, here it is. Ew, ah, there is just one. 
So unfortunately, it's not a Robbie, but let's see. What are we going to get for Valentine's Day? Oh, it's so cute. It says, please kiss me. And he's like, not focusing. Hello. It's a sheep. It's a ram. It's a lamb. You guys, um, one of my favorite things that we've ever unboxed was called, it was like the flip side of Sunny Angel. It was called Sorry Angel. And they only did two series of those and I wish they would like bring them back because in my opinion, they were even like cuter. All right, you guys, let's do the mini handbags next. I grabbed this one first and they've probably done so many series of these by, by this point. I'm pretty sure this was series one. And when did I get them? I don't know. But yeah, you guys, I almost like didn't film today because I'm like, I feel like I do look like such a mess. But you know what? I feel like sometimes I like stop myself from doing things I want to do because I like get it in my head where I'm like, wait, you should like do these other things before you do that step. Does this make any sense? Like a lot of times I feel like I want to film, but I stop myself from filming because I feel like I should have a cool outfit on and a whole face of makeup and yeah, blah, blah, you know? But then I started to think like, literally I do not care like what the people look like that I watch. Does any of this make any sense? I don't know. So I just feel like I was like putting in these like goofy roadblocks in my mind, like mental barriers to stop myself from like doing things that I want to do. So I don't know, just random unsolicited life advice. If you feel like you're just like doing that to yourself, giving yourself like random mental blocks, just try and push through and like do something. Because anytime I do this, I always feel better like after I do like just spontaneously like do something that I want to do. You guys, this makes no sense. So here is the bag. It's like a cute little cat shaped like canvas tote bag. Now I feel like this is larger than the mini bag that I would like to put together. I think I want to use like one of the rainbow high ones. I'm not sure if this counts as one of the surprises, but it does turn it into a keychain. It's like a little uh, carbiner clip. So let's see. I just read on the box we get six surprises inside. Let's see those surprises. I also think that there is makeup in here as well like actual lip gloss oh my gosh i'm trying to like pull everything out and i'm trying to count to six <gasps> okay i see something in here that looks really familiar so maybe we have unboxed some of these before but not all it's why am i showing this to you guys again um yeah because i remember this i thought that this was so cute real littles 2021 that tells you how old this is so this is supposed to look like a little magazine or maybe even a catalog um but it's actually a notebook and i feel like this is like substantially sized like i feel like you could actually like jot down things on this it's functional um we also got a pin and it has this cute little puffball keychain so you guys maybe these minis are gonna be too large for this project unfortunately but hey look we're opening many things and i'm gonna try and like use the pin i don't know why i'm thinking um this is scented it's probably not it smells like ink um i don't know why I don't know why I thought it was scented, um, but it writes. I feel like obviously if I was like actually writing and not trying to hold it up in the air, it would probably write even better. So the other thing in, we have in here is it's a butterfly clip. Look at that. Um, super cute. Maybe I could use this on like a doll or something. Um, okay, I think that this is maybe gonna be one of the lip glosses, like makeup compact things. It is in the shape of a cat, so it matches the purse. Let's open it up and see. I think there's like a mirror option as well. Or maybe it's a mirror and a lip gloss. You guys, this does not want to open for anything. I'm like prying it open. Oh, it is just a little functional mirror. <gasps> and I feel like I said this in the last like 50 pound unboxing, but I actually really like that so many of these mystery things these days actually give you like a real usable mirror. I feel like when I was younger, it was always kind of those like fun house mirrors where it was just like a silver sticker and didn't really have a reflection, which I always thought was like not 
very cool when I was younger. So I'm kind of glad that they're like changing that. Uh, this is the last thing and this looks so familiar to me as well as the little catalog thing. So this is a miniature eraser. And if I actually unwrapped it, I'm assuming it would be functional. Um, I forgot to tell you guys too, I guess the thing, like the chase thing inside is a working watch ring, which, oh my God, I feel like I got a watch ring one time from the limited too. And I thought it was so cool. I also had a ring that looked like a belt. It was also so cool. You guys, have I ever told y'all this before? What happened to everything from the limited too? I have looked for so many vintage limited two items like everywhere and I never find any. It's like literally where did it all go? I used to have a beanbag pillow. This is another thing. I feel like I keep telling you guys about things that I literally can't even Google and find a photo of one. But I have been looking for like one of my limited two holy grail items forever. It was like a tiny fuzzy beanbag pillow and it had a picture frame in the front. And you could put like a picture of your boyfriend. But I'm like, where did mine go? Because I even like took mine to college with me. It went to my dorm room with me. And then like it has just disappeared. So this is actually really cute. It's like a fanny pack or maybe it's meant to be like a cosmetic bag. What do you guys think? Speculate in the comments down below. Um, Carbiner clip again. I'm assuming one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> okay, either the carbiner clip counts as one, six surprises inside or like I thought that this was like one thing but maybe this was like one two because I was like wait we only got five surprises last time not six um okay let's dump these surprises out on the floor and ew we got what is this it's oh it's a glitter lip gloss yum yum um it's a very pretty color but I hate glitter and I hate lip gloss so <gasps> oh <gasps> Oh my God, I'm so excited. I didn't even see myself dump this on the floor. You guys, I got the item I really wanted and it's so cute. And I feel like I could actually put water in this if I wanted to. Look, I could even dump a little bit of my tea in it and that would be nasty. Um, but yes, oh my God, this is like kind of even cuter than I thought it would be. I didn't know it was gonna be like th this kind of like transparent pastel color. We got another eraser. Is it a different like scent? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, maybe this is what is scented you guys because um, the top eraser is the one we just got and it has strawberry on the packaging. And then this eraser we just got has grape. I love grape scented things. I love eating real grapes, but I don't like like grape flavored, like grape flavored Kool-Aid or something like I always thought was like the worst. Or do you guys remember squeeze it? Y'all, this is like just pure nostalgia video. But anytime I would get like grape flavor of that, I swore it always like gave me a sore throat. Uh, so it's so funny. Do y'all have anything like that where you love the real form of it? But if you get like an artificial form of it, you hate the way that that taste or smells, it, it does not smell. I'm just smelling plastic over here. There's nothing going on. This looks like it's gonna be another compact, which I just don't know if any of these are gonna be the right scale for what I was hoping, but they're actually pretty cute. I feel like these are pretty good quality um, miniatures. Look at this. It's like another pretty, I mean, pretty sizable mirror. I feel like I could put on my purple glitter lip gloss using this mirror. Um, and then the last thing is so cute. So are these meant to be like air fresheners or just keychains? Like what, what are these meant to be? They're really cute. This one is like a pink glittery star. I really like it. All right, you guys, last one already. This is like the prettiest bag, but it is like the most glittery. So I'm like, oh, I wish everything was like the glitter that's like sealed in because <laughs> I love the look of glitter, but I hate that it just is like so messy. So this, oh, you know what? Maybe this glitter doesn't come off. I'm kind of 
viciously rubbing it. And it's doing all right. Um, pretty cute. I actually kind of like this one more than I thought I would. The glitter is adorable. It kind of reminds me of like the Longchamp uh, tote bags or like even the style of like the larger like Louis Vuitton tote bags. I don't think Real Littles has ever done like the designer dupe kind of thing. <gasps> I don't know why I've kind of like ignored this till now, but the construction of these bags is actually pretty good. Like the zippers are nice. I'm like shocked that this actually has like a pretty high quality snap. I like it. All right, time to dump everything out. It unfortunately looks like we're gonna get a lot of repeats these guys, but these guys, it looks like we're gonna get a lot of repeats, but unfortunately that's just the way it goes sometimes with these, especially when there's only 30 things to collect. I feel like your chances of getting a repeat is pretty high at that point. <gasps> You guys, I'm suddenly noticing a theme here that I can't believe it took me three things to put together. But we got cat accessories in the cat bag. We got um, rainbows and stars in the unicorn bag. And now looking down, we got like ocean stuff in this bag. I just noticed, I bet these are meant to be like mermaid tails. So I guess maybe that cuts down on some of the mystery element of these bags. You know what I mean? I've seen Disney ones come out since then. And I was like kind of wondering, like, do you just get random character stuff inside? But I, I bet it makes sense. Like I've seen a Nightmare Before Christmas one. I bet you get all like Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in the Nightmare Before Christmas bag. So maybe not as mysterious. You guys have to let me know. Do you like when things are like that when it's more of like a cohesive set but less of a mystery or do you like just a mystery mystery i feel like i personally like mystery mystery better than things that like go together but hey uh we got a giant pot of pink glittery lip gloss which i have to give it to them i feel like this is actually like a pretty sizable i how good is the quality i don't know but that's a pretty like generous amount of lip gloss like look at that that's a, that's a lot of lip gloss in here. I'm surprised. Another non-grape grape packaged eraser. It looks like you get a mini eraser in each one. Um, this I thought was super cute before. And I'm trying to remember, I think you're maybe not actually supposed to cut this open, but it's the Band-Aids. There's actually three teeny tiny little Band-Aids in here, which is really cute we have another one of these like things which maybe you're supposed to like put the, well you know what well you could like thread it around like this because I'm starting to think okay maybe those are like bag charms because the other ones do have zippers but I guess you could just like do that uh but it's a mermaid tail little thing whatever it's supposed to be that's probably like the cutest one and then the last one is a little compact mirror and it looks like a shell. And let's open it up. And yes, once again, a real little mirror in there. Interesting. Okay, my foot is deeply falling asleep. So overall, that was a fun experience, but I don't think it's like perfect for my little project or something. But oh my gosh, I wish I had him in here. Because the other thing I've been like trying to collect right now is like more minis for my skeleton Blythe doll. All right, you guys, last but not least, I'm trying to see what series this is. Is it the Let's Be Friends collection or just plain series two? If so, that tells you how old these are. I like Miss Punk is on the front. So let's open these up. Do you guys remember this cute zipper packaging? I don't know why I'm saying, do you guys remember? I'm pretty sure LOL like still has like a lot of popularity, especially with the larger dolls now. I think they're the more like fashion dolls. I can't remember if we've unboxed one or not, but the LOL, what are they called? You guys, y'all y'all might know, but they're like, you, you just get one like larger, almost like Barbie fashion kind of doll. Oh my gosh, okay. Tearing, tearing. It's been sealed a long time. Um, okay, so up first is the little mystery micro. Oh, mic check. 
There we go. I didn't even see the, isn't that what that says? Yeah, mic check. I was like, what is this riddle? All right, second layer. What are we gonna find? Oh my gosh. Y'all, I cannot feel my foot. I keep trying to like move my legs so that my foot will not be asleep anymore. And it's not helping. Oh my gosh, okay. I think that the next thing is gonna tell us nothing. That The second layer never made sense to me. It's just like a layer of plastic that you don't get like a sticker. I thought that there used to be a chart in there that told you if it was gonna cry or spit. It's just another wrapper, you guys. What am I missing? Are you curious? <gasps> she looks kind of like Alice in Wonderland. Y'all, I thought there was like more things in each layer, but it's just a layer of plastic. Okay, ooh, okay, we've got something now. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, I am such a goofball. I've been like opening these things. I was like looking for something in the layers of paper. Send help. All right, uh, something tiny. It says surprise inside. Yay! Oh, it's shoes. It's like little red shoes. Very, very cute. You guys, I'm trying to decide if I want to do gel nails today or if I keep wanting to use press-ons, but either way, I feel like my nails are still stained like three weeks or not. It hasn't been three weeks, but I did that like bronzer stuff like two weeks ago and like it stained my nails so bad. And I feel like my nails like still look kind of yellow. Oh my gosh. So this is the little bottle, also pink and red. Oh my God, are we gonna get like a Valentine's Day one? That would be right on time. Okay, this is like the last layer of paper or plastic and I'm like so glad because what a mess. Okay, I think we're supposed to pop off this next before we pop open the egg. And how can I open this? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is the little clothes. Oh my gosh. It's like a green skirt and maybe it's going to be like um, beach themed because it looks like there's a coconut top on and flowers. Oh my gosh. You guys, sometimes I forget like kind of how cute these dolls are, but I'm pretty sure my favorite ones of all time have been the LOL boys. Okay, so we've got like the little handle in there to create the little display, which I can't figure out how to put the egg back together. I think that this might be accessories. Yeah, oh my gosh, a cute little flower headband. Ah, you guys, there we go. Hopefully the camera has been focusing okay today. And then last but not least, we've got the doll. And oh my gosh, look at her hair. I love that. It's like teal colored. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna like put her little outfit and accessories on. Why did I think they were supposed to have like sunglasses or something too? Let's put on her accessories and I'll show you what she looks like. All right, you guys, here she is. How adorable. The only thing I would change is maybe I would have given her sunglasses versus um, a headband just because I feel like she kind of has like a little bit of like going to the beach with like the coconuts kind of thing. Um, and the sandals could also be like beach like jelly sandals. So I know some of them have sunglasses and I kind of think maybe that would have been cuter than the headband. But oh my gosh, I forgot how cute these LOL dolls are. And I'm glad I have more of them like sitting in the 50 pound tubs. I now have two of them. Y'all, I found, I have found so many like mystery things laying around the house. Um, I should really be filming like an episode of this a week, but I found so many LOL surprise. So maybe next episode I will like open more of those. I also have a lot of the ASMR things. So let me know if y'all would have any interest in me doing like a 50 pound mystery unboxing ASMR edition. I can bust out the ear microphone 
and uh, maybe, I, maybe I can actually like whisper for once. Anyway, let me know if you guys would be interested in that or if y'all just want me to like unbox the ASMR stuff like normal style, like this. Let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.